Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here. So, like clockwork, every year before a new smartphone, a new big phone comes out, we get a bunch of renders and leaks and sometimes models of that phone as a sort of a sneak peek to what we're going to get. That happened with the new Pixel, that happened with the new iPhone every year, and Samsung's no exception. And one of the most tangible forms of that is the dummy models that case makers use to prototype their designs and dimensions of the new phones that we can actually get our hands on a couple weeks before the actual phone came out. I've done videos with models of the iPhone before the iPhone actually comes out, gets us a pretty good look. So from that same source, we have one of the most anticipated and hyped phones of the year coming out for 2019. And that would be the Samsung Galaxy S10. And I can say models, plural, because there are going to be at least three phones this year, at least, and these two represent the main ones, the Galaxy S10, and the Galaxy S10 Plus. So these types of videos always have an expiration date because in a few weeks, we're gonna know exactly what the phone looks like anyway, and then we can get to it. But that's never stopped anybody from taking a look beforehand. So this is everything that I've learned from these models. So first of all, like I said, we're actually expecting at least three phones, and that would be Galaxy S10, Galaxy S10 Plus, and then a Galaxy S10e or S10 Lite, sort of a lightweight model. So the S10 being the standard 6.1 inch display, 3,500 milliamp hour battery, and the S10 Plus being the bigger brother, the 6.44 inch display and possibly a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And then the S10 Lite is likely going to be somewhere a bit smaller in size, about a 5.8 inch screen. I don't have a model of it, but you know, slightly different shape and look from the renders, single camera instead of multiple. I think you could basically describe it as Samsung's answer to the iPhone XR. And also always, the more phones you add, the more stratification there is in the lineup, the more there is to remember. But the main thing I think to remember is gonna be, they're all gonna be different prices. So S10 Lite being somewhere around 800 to $850, which is not cheap at all. But then S10 coming in at around 1,000, and Galaxy S10 Plus coming in at around 1100 bucks starting, then going all the way up to possibly a terabyte model that's around 2000 US dollars. So these are uh, not cheap phones, very premium prices. And we may also see in the lineup uh, two others, uh, a super budget or more cheap version of the phone that we don't know as much about and also possibly a folding phone. So they could show off five phones in the next two weeks, maybe. But here's what I learned from the models of the S10 and the S10 Plus. So in the hand, they definitely still feel like Samsung phones and they look like them, right? So they're still familiar, nothing super drastic here. It's still going to be glass on the back. And even though these models aren't glass, they're fingerprint magnets already with that smooth flat back. And they still have a second specialty button on the left side under the volume rocker that will probably be an unchangeable Bixby button again. Um, what I can say is it feels more like a mini Note 9 than a larger S9. And I mean, just because it's a little bit boxier with a little bit more square of a corner radius. So it just kind of looks more like a note than an S. But then it still has very thin side bezels. Uh, this holds up with what we've seen in the renders. The infinity edge display is still taken to the absolute maximum. And on the back, placement wise, looks like the fingerprint sensor will probably be the biggest question still. It looks to me like the back of the phone here is now just the cameras, the flash, and then the biometrics, like the heart rate sensor, et cetera. And the fingerprint reader will be underneath the glass of the display. But obviously that and the hole punch cameras are the things you can't really tell from the case mockups. But you can see actually that they did include the dual cameras versus the single cameras. So single front facing camera on the S10 and dual front facing cameras on the S10 Plus. So we're thinking it gets a regular selfie camera and a super wide angle selfie camera like the Pixel 3 has right now which I love. And it also shows uh, triple rear cameras on both the S10 and the S10 Plus. So one standard camera, one telephoto camera, and then one super wide angle camera like we saw with the LG already this year. And we have rumored, of course, for the new iPhones as well. Definitely hoping for that, but I actually think, I think it's gonna end up being dual cameras on the S10 and triple cameras on the S10 Plus. I hope I'm wrong. I hope they don't hobble the smaller phone. I hope they put all the same stuff in both, but that's what I think it's gonna end up being. So we have the screen going all the way to the sides. We have the bezels on the top and the bottom going almost again right up to the edge. And then the earpiece is now a sort of this slot at the very, very top of the phone. I mean, Samsung never really seems to take speakers super seriously. They never go super hard with the audio, but you can still see it does keep that headphone jack. Uh, and I think this may be the last year Samsung keeps it around. So if you're dead set on keeping a headphone jack in your next phone, this is probably going to be the only flagship option available for you, this or maybe the next Galaxy Note. Um, and overall, just feel in the hand, 
I like it. I've liked Samsung phones the way they feel in the past, the great displays, the boxy metal and glass build. This feels familiar. And the smaller phone is still pretty small, still bigger than the small iPhone, but it still feels compact, mostly because it's such a narrow aspect ratio like we've seen before. But yeah, that's essentially where we're at. All we really have to do now is wait for the phone to actually be revealed, and you know you can expect a video on that when it finally does go live. The event is February 20th. But my question to you is, what do you think of this design that's pretty much gonna rule 2019 with the hole punch display? I mean, personally, for this exact phone, what I'm looking most forward to is the cameras. Hopefully they upgrade them to be competitive with the Pixel. Hopefully there's a night sight competitor, uh, versions of that. Hopefully the dual front facing cameras are the super wide and the regular like I've seen. So that enough plus one UI would make me consider really liking this phone. Um, but what do you think? What are you excited for about Galaxy S10? Let me know. Either way, thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.